Guess what we're doing today? So you guys enjoyed our two routine videos that we've done so far so much. We thought it would be fun to do a camping routine video. Recently, we took the dogs camping over a long weekend and we had a friend of ours join us and it was a lot of fun. And I thought it would be neat to show you guys the difference between our home routine and our routine while we are camping with the dogs. If you would like to see our entire camping trip in full, there will be a link up above in the cards and down in the video description below to the playlist of our five days of camping. Now let's show you our camping routine. Now one of the first things we do when we wake up in the morning is take the dogs for their little morning walk. This is very similar to what we do at home except while camping it's even more important because the dogs don't have a fenced in yard to go out and enjoy a little bit of time and go to the bathroom. So we take them for a short little walk before they have their breakfast. Once we get back from our walk, I usually make sure to empty out and refill their outside water bowl. I also do this with their inside water bowl as well. So after their morning walk, the dogs enjoy some time out on their picket line. A lot of you have noticed these in our camping videos before. This is what we use to keep the dogs tied out while camping. It keeps them from tangling on each other. We've done a few videos on these. I'll list them above and down in the video description below. There's also a link down below to where you can purchase your own picket line. We usually chill out and let them relax for about a half an hour before we start breakfast. Now breakfast for the dogs while camping is very similar to breakfast that we do for home. I do have a separate set of dishes that I keep in the camper for them. We bring their normal food and then I bring all the things we normally add on top of their food at home, including the turmeric pills, their ultra oil, a little bit of bone broth, but the other things I usually actually bring is a little bit of canned dog food. In all the years we've been camping with the dogs, I have found sometimes when we travel, the dogs will not necessarily be as excited to eat. So if we put something a little bit different on their food, it kind of just entices their appetite. And usually that's just a little bit of canned food. Also because we're doing so much more activity while camping, a little bit of extra food is good for them. As I mentioned earlier, you may notice a third husky in this video. This is our friend Thor from the YouTube channel Thor Unleashed. I will put some links up above and down below if you would like to go check out their channel as well. After the dogs finish eating, we usually wait around at camp for about a half an hour to let their bellies settle before we head out on crazy adventures. During that time, I usually make sure I have everything we will need for a full day of adventure. Since we're normally gone during lunchtime, I make sure that I have food for the dogs, fresh water for the dogs, gather their harnesses, their leashes, everything we need to go out on our adventures. Then we usually take them on one more walk around the campground before we load them up in the car and take off for the day. Now, as I said earlier, if you want to see our five day camping trip in full, there will be a link up above and down below to our vlog channel at Snow Dogs Vlogs. We packed a lot of adventure into this weekend. We stayed at Barriga State Park. We ventured to multiple waterfalls, including Black Slate Falls, Slate River Falls, Quartzite Falls, the dogs got to hike all over the city of Houghton. We hiked them down into a mine. Yes, the dogs actually got to visit a copper mine in Delaware, Michigan, which was amazing. It was so nice. Considering it was 80 degrees while we were camping, to be able to go down into a mine that was only 45 degrees was basically like going from summer to winter. So we packed a bunch of adventure into this weekend of camping. The dogs hiked like crazy, but as always, in the middle of some of those hikes, usually between 3.30 and 4.30, we always make sure to stop and feed the dogs their lunch. Shelby, this is how you do steps. You ready, honey? All right. Bye. See you at the top. <laughs> Now, as you guys know from our past videos, we had Oakley who had experienced bloat before, so we take extra precautions when feeding our dogs. So when we stop for lunch, we usually find a good resting place, make sure that the car is not moving, that we're not walking around for around a half an hour before we actually 
feed them. We feed them their lunch and then it is the same thing. After they are done eating, we allow them to kind of just relax, chill out in the car. If it's warm, we'll just run the air conditioning, let their belly settle a little bit, and then we'll take them out for a short walk after they eat before we continue on our adventure. I feel like this is something that a lot of people don't do when traveling with their pets, but I do feel like it is a very important thing to kind of just let them chill out for a little bit, even if you're having crazy fun days of adventure. As I said earlier, we were camping at Baraga State Park, which is at the base of the Keweenaw Peninsula in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. A few of the other places we went were Brockway Mountain Drive. We let the dogs go swimming in Lake Superior. We actually stopped at a couple of beaches and roadside parks specifically so they could get in the water and just enjoy the day. During this trip, the weather was much warmer than normal. It was probably in the 80s and very high humidity the entire time we were there. So part of the routine for this trip was extra breaks for them to go swimming. They got to spend a lot more time in the water and longer resting stops during our hikes just to make sure that the dogs didn't overheat. And of course, every time we hiked, we make sure to carry fresh water with us as well, just in case we're not near a river or a lake. And even when we are near rivers and lakes, we do try to give the dogs a chance to get a drink of water at every stop we make. We have our little silicone collapsible bowl, and no, that is not Mountain Dew they're drinking. That's just the bottle we used for water this trip. After each day of all of the long hikes and all of the sightseeings that the dogs do, we usually make sure to head back to camp in time for dinner for the dogs. Once we arrive back at camp, we usually again give the dogs a little bit of downtime before feeding them, and then we prepare their dinner. Again, for dinner, we usually use a little bit of the Instinct Raw Boost. We put the plaque off powder on their food, a little bit of the Primal Raw Bone Broth, and sometimes, again, we mix in a little bit of wet food just to make sure they're willing to eat. But usually by dinner time, they're pretty hungry because of all the adventuring that they have done. Then they will take a little bit of time and enjoy their dinner. Again, I will rinse out and refill their outside and inside water dishes because we spend a lot of time outside, sand and dirt, and sometimes bugs can get into those dishes. So we try to make sure to rinse them out and refill them as often as we can. When they are done eating, we kind of just chill out at camp for a little while before nighttime arrives. The last thing we really do each day is take the dogs for a good long walk around the campground with their cool LED collars. I will put some Amazon affiliate links for these collars down in the video description below. They are probably one of my favorite things I've ever bought for camping with the dogs. We'll hike them around basically the entire campground, really get them tired out, give them a chance to go to the bathroom, and then we head back to the camper to let them go to bed. Once we get back from our walk, the dogs get their good night treat, and then they pretty much figure out where they're going to sleep for the night. They do tend to switch spots a lot more during the night while we're camping than they do when we are at home. And that's pretty much how the day ends. That is pretty much our camping routine. It's a little bit different than what we do at home, but we do still try to keep a good routine so the dogs are comfortable while camping. Not a whole lot of difference, but a lot more hiking and walking and adventure and things like that. Let us know, you guys, if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about our routine or what we do while we're camping with the dogs, leave them down below. Is there any other routine videos you would like to see from us? Maybe we can do a how we prepare for camping with the dogs. I did a video like that a long time ago, but I haven't done one recently, and I know a lot of things have changed from when we did our first video to what we do now let us know and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always you guys thanks so much for watching thanks for subscribing stay positive dream big and we will see you again soon and as i said if you want to see these videos in full we do have a vlog channel at youtube.com slash snowdogs vlogs where you can see full length versions and I'm not kidding some of the vlogs are 20 minutes long so if you want to see even more of the dogs who we are and what we do head on over there subscribe to that channel as well thanks for watching you guys goodbye